Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. We missed last week, so I'm not going to waste any time. Let's jump into today's DIYs and I have some Dollar Tree last minute fall DIYs for you. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely stick around, click that red subscribe button. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and let's jump right into today's video. So for this little DIY, I don't even know what you want to call it and you guys, I honestly don't know where the inspiration for this came from but when I saw these carvable pumpkins that is what came to mind so I start by taking these pumpkins from Dollar Tree I mark out the spot where I'm going to cut it I also pull that little stem out it's just held on by like a toothpick or something and then I take my utility knife and I cut that little window so to speak out once I cut that out, then I just kind of take my finger and take all of that excess foam out from where I had just cut. And then I go in with my wood putty, I know this is weird, and some lightweight spackling from Dollar Tree. I kind of wanted to see like what would work best, but because I used my utility knife, those edges were really like jagged and I didn't like that look. So I did just go in with the wood putty and the lightweight spackling from Dollar Tree and just kind of smooth that out. And I can say that the Dollar Tree lightweight spackling did work much better and you just kind of want to pat it down. You don't want to pull on it, tug on it, any of that. You just want to take a little bit out of the jar, kind of pat it down, and then move on to the next section. And then I dried it as well as gave uh, this entire thing inside and outside a good coat of my Cashew Waverly chalk paint. Once it was dry, then I went in with my antique wax and a uh, paintbrush, and it's kind of like a medium brush, not too big, not too small, and I just go in those grooves with the antique wax, and then once I've went around the entire pumpkin, then I go back in with a paper towel and I just kind of smooth out that wax, blending it in to make it look old and weathered and I want that antique wax to look natural. I don't want it to look like I just painted on lines. So for the stem of this little, I don't, again, I don't know what you want to call it. If somebody wants to name it in the comments down below, let me know what you guys think this little decor piece should be called. But, um, for the stem of this pumpkin, I just took the stem from one of those velvet pumpkins from Dollar Tree. Next, I take one of those little tools from Dollar Tree once again and just poked a hole from the back of the pumpkin to the inside of the pumpkin. And then I stuck these little fairy lights that I got from Amazon that are linked in my Amazon store in the description box below. And I just fed the lights through the inside of the pumpkin and then glued the battery pack to the back of the pumpkin. Next, I take some um, moss and I think this is Spanish moss and once I've laid some of this string of lights down into the bottom of the pumpkin then I take some of that Spanish moss and lay it on top of the lights and then I put more of the lights and more of the moss until I have this little lit up rustic pocket on the inside of this pumpkin. Once I had that complete then I take these the stem and I glue that down to the top because this stem didn't go in the pumpkin originally it did kind of flop around so I did just want to make sure that I secured that down and then I just take some greenery um, some is from Walmart some is from Hobby Lobby and I just kind of arrange that greenery at the top of my pumpkin to my liking and I secure that down with some hot glue
Next, I paint these pumpkins from Dollar Tree with my Moss Waverly chalk paint, and I do give these two good coats, and then I do that same technique with the antique wax, painting down the edges or the ridges of those pumpkins, and then uh, kind of blending it in, but this time, because these pumpkins are so small, I blended in those, yeah, those. <laughs> <laughs> I blended in the wax with the q-tips no worries you guys per usual Melissa can't talk I'm just used to it I'm used to embarrassing myself by now so it's all good anyway once those were dry then I put the stems back in I just lay them on the inside of our little pumpkin again I don't really know what you guys want to call this or what I want to call this but I just had this video vision in my head and it was a little bit different in my head but I do love the way that it turned out. Sophia was like mom can I please have this? The pumpkins on the inside are so cute. So anyway you guys let me know in the comments down below. I know this is a little bit different but you guys know how I roll. I like to be different and I love the way that this turned out so let me know in the comments down below what you think and let's move on to DIY number two. Now my best friend Heather, she made these and I just love them so much. They were so cute that I wanted to try my hand at them. So when I went to make these, I didn't think that I had the exact jar that she used. So I looked in my stash and I found that I found this little candy jar. So I started out by painting it with my Moss Waverly chalk paint. Once it was dry and I went inside for a little bit and I dug around because I knew that I had one I just couldn't figure out where it was at. I did find it So this is the jar that she used They are like the little candy dish and I did give it a good coat of my moss Waverly chalk paint and then the top part of it I did paint with my truffle Waverly chalk paint Once the paint was dry, then I went in with my mini zip sander and I just sanded some of the edges. There was no rhyme or reason to this. I just wanted it to look old and rustic like Heather's did. Um, so if you don't like distressing, you can totally leave that part out, but I personally like it. So I did just sand that down. And then once again, um, on the candy dish pumpkin, I did go in with that antique wax and my paper towel on the lid as well as the bottom part. Next, I take two wooden tags from Dollar Tree. One of them I paint with my gold acrylic paint and while one of them I stain with my faux stain that I have made. If you guys have not seen my faux stain, I will try to link a video where I made it if I can remember, but I did also string two 14 millimeter beads on a piece of jute as well as a strand with three 14 millimeter unfinished wood beads and then just tying a double knot at the bottom to make sure that they don't go anywhere and I did repeat that step. Next, I took the tags and I just I just distress them by sanding down the edges as well as a little bit on the inside of the tag, but again, that is personal preference. I then take a couple leaves off of these little, um, I think they're like tin stakes um, for fall that I got from Dollar Tree. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, where is my brain? Tin stakes. Yeah, that's exactly what they are, Melissa. Tin pumpkin stakes from Dollar Tree. I take the leaves off of them and then spray paint them gold. And then for the tags, I take my Chalk Couture mini transfers. And on one of them, I, uh, you know, reverse this because the magic is just so amazing. So I transferred on autumn leaves on the gold one. And then for the one that I stained, I did my or I did thankful and blessed with the little greenery or flowers, whatever you want to call that on the other one. And then once again, I reversed it. It showed you again the magic because I swear you guys, it literally never gets old pulling back that transfer and revealing that crisp, beautiful, detailed image. 
once I had my little images or my wording transferred on to my tags, then I take the stems and I wrap some jute around the stems with some hot glue. Next, I attach the tags on with some jute as well. So there's probably a better way to do this, but on this day, I was just trying to get done. So I honestly could not think of the best way. So I just took the two strands of the beads, tied them together, cut off the excess, and then hot glued that right underneath the tag. And then I glued down the leaf as well as a raffia bow on top of the leaf. I repeat all of these same steps for the second pumpkin and you guys I just love the way that these turned out I can't wait to make more and just display them all around the house this is another project that Sophia has uh, claimed so I can't wait to make some more for myself let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of Heather's because I really truly like hers more than mine but um give her some props in the comments down below how amazing she has done because I just wanted to show you guys that my friend Heather is not an experienced crafter she's only been crafting since like COVID and I know that a lot of you guys get discouraged and think like oh I can't do it or you know you just have a hard time and I wanted to show you that you don't have to be an experienced crafter to make high-end gorgeous looking decor all you need is just a little bit of patience, a little bit of time, and a little pat on the back to let yourself know that you can do this and that you've got this. I would like to thank Lisa and Rebecca for the craft supplies. If you guys enjoy my work and would like to support my channel and get a shout out in my next video, go to the link in the description box below. But just know that whatever way you support me and support my channel, I appreciate every single one of you from the bottom of my heart. Okay friends, moving on to DIY number three and I am so grateful that you are here. Let me know in the comments down below that you're still here by leaving a yellow heart, but we're going to make this double-sided sign. I love it so, so much. I can't decide which side I like better, but I start out with these two uh, tag signs from Dollar Tree, and I just start by taking off the tags as well as the stickers on the back. One of them I paint with my Moss Waverly chalk paint with a distress coat, as well as the other one I use my Cashew chalk paint, another distress coat. Next, I flip them over and just clean up the back, that way we can paint them, but I quickly discovered something really weird so when i was pulling up these stars look at this gem i don't know if like in the store they just couldn't get the star to glue back on so they used a gem or maybe when they were making these i don't know you guys but i thought that was funny so i figured i'd share it but once i had them clean cleaned up then i realized that i couldn't really use it because where I had ripped off like the stars and the raffia bow from the other one. It was just making rips. And then if you rip that paper part off, then it just leaves like this weird surface. So in order to smooth this out, I just used my wallpapers from Dollar Tree. On the side that we're gonna use the moss, I used like the like faux wood um, wallpaper and it had green tones in it and then for the other side I used this like chevron um, pattern I don't know now that I say that out loud that doesn't sound like the right thing I don't know let me know in the comments down below which pattern is that but I put that one on the side where we used the cashew waverly chalk paint and then I use 
black and gold chalk paste to transfer on the October Club Couture transfer. If you would like more information on how to get this transfer, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to give you that info or join my VIP group. You can find that in my link tree as well as all the products that I use today in this video as well as, you know, or at, I should say as far as Chalk Couture or Amazon, all of that, all of the links are all in one place now. So um, look out for that in the description box below. But once I fuzz my transfer on my fuzzing cloth, which is gonna give me a little bit of fuzz on the back of my sticky reusable transfer, and then I'm going to lay it out on my sign. I'm gonna use the chalk paste that I like. So for the first one, like I said, I use the gold and the black. And for the back side of this sign, I'm going to use this pick your own pumpkins transfer and I'm going to use the gold as well as my dune chalk paste to transfer on this image. Once I've transferred on that image, then I'm just going to pull back my transfer and you always want to pull in one direction. You don't want to pull from several different directions and then you're going to take it to your sink immediately and wash it, lay it sticky side up to dry and then lay it back to its backing sheet. That way you can use it over and over and over again. Once I had all of my images transferred on, now is the fun part, decorating. So I made a jute bow, or not jute bow, <laughs> a raffia bow with this green as well as tan raffia from Dollar Tree. And I transferred that onto the moss sign on top of the pumpkin. And then I distressed the edges with my mini chip brush as well as some cashew chalk paint. And then for the other side, now it has come to my attention that making a bow is really, really hard for a lot of people. So I just wanted to show you guys a really easy way to do it. If you fold your ribbon, kind of like a cancer awareness ribbon, and then pinch it in the middle, you can take some jute, tie it into the middle, and then once you've cut your ends of your jute, then you've had a bow. Simple as that. I just wanted to show you guys, you don't need any skill or any special thing to make a bow. You can simply make one, and um, I wanted to show you guys how to do that. So after I made my bow, then I distressed my edges with some ink Waverly chalk paint. I attached my bow to the top of my sign with some hot glue. And then literally, you guys, look how amazing this sign turned out. I love it so much. That gold against that moss color is just to die for. And then that wallpaper from Dollar Tree just accents the image so well. And same thing for the backside. I love it so much. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. If you guys have not already subscribed, you might as well become part of my crafty family. And also, if you haven't, give me a big thumbs up. If you enjoy what you see, please give this video a big thumbs up so YouTube can notice me just a bit more. I am so glad that you guys are here for DIY number four. And in this project, we are gonna be making this pumpkin, or I should say galvanized pumpkin floral arrangement. So to start off this project, I take two of these wooden pumpkins from Dollar Tree, as well as three wood planks from Dollar Tree as well. I take the hangers off of the wooden pumpkins, and then I take one of the wood planks and I glue that down to the bottom of one of the wooden pumpkins. Next, I need to measure how long I need these side pieces because these wood planks are too long. I just lay it where I'm going to glue it down. I mark it and then I take my utility knife. I score this wood plank about four times and then I just kind of push on that edge and then it'll pop right off and then you can just like uh, cut off the excess that stays behind after you pop it off. 
I did that for both sides and then I secure those down with some hot glue as well and then I just reinforce the edges with hot glue just to make sure that this isn't going to go anywhere on us. Next, I attach the front with some hot glue, making sure to stand this up before I put that front piece on. That way, when this stands up, it's going to stand up nice and level, and you can make sure that it's going to stand level before you go ahead and press that down onto your hot glue. I then just fill in the holes with my lightweight spackling from Dollar Tree. And then to cover this entire piece, I'm going to take my spray grip uh, spray paint nozzle, I guess it's called. It just helps you to get a more even coat when you're spray painting. It just makes your life so much easier. So I do go outside and I spray paint this with my galvanized spray paint. It's called Hammered by Rust-Oleum. There are several different brands and different kinds you can get, but my personal favorite is the Rust-Oleum. Once that spray paint is dry, then I go in with a natural sponge and some Elephant Waverly chalk paint, and I just dab off that shiny, shiny silver color. I then go in with my white Waverly chalk paint and that same sponge, and I just kind of randomly sponge on some white spots, making this look like galvanized metal. Now, this is personal preference, so add some dabs, put it up, look at it, lay it down, put some more on there. It's kind of like trial and error and it's really personal preference to how you like it. So do a little bit, look at it if you like, or if you want more, you can add more. If you don't, like if you put too much white, then you can add more elephant on top. Just go back and forth until you get the um, look that you like and then once it was dry I went in with my antique wax and I just distressed the edges. I then go in with my chalk couture transfer. Now at first I was going to leave it plain and then I thought it was too plain so I was just kind of showing you the different options but I ultimately decided on this hello pumpkin so I do fuzz my transfer I transfer that on with my black chalk paste and then I make another shoestring bow with some raffia and I glue that to the top as well as some greenery from Dollar General. Last but not least, put any floral in it you like. And then that was it, you guys. I love the way that this turned out. This is actually going to be sitting on top of my cube organizer. I have a really, really tall one in my living room. So I think I'm going to pop him up there. But let me know in the comments down below which project from today's video was your favorite. Did you guys miss me? Because I missed you guys so much last week. Um, hopefully, I won't be missing any weeks from here on out. Things have just been a little hectic over here, so I am trying to get back into the swing of things. I missed you guys so much. I am so glad to be back. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? You might as well become part of my crafty family. That way you don't miss another Dollar Tree moment haul moment, chalk couture. There's so many fun things going on on this channel as well as giveaways and you don't want to miss it. Also, last but not least, don't forget to share this video with your family and friends if you think that they would enjoy it as well. Let Heather know in the comments down below what an amazing job she did on her pumpkins. I love them so much that I just had to recreate them myself. And with all that being said, if nobody has told you today, you are absolutely amazing and gorgeous. You are worthy and I love you with all my heart and soul. I will catch you guys in the next one. Let me know in the comments down below, are you guys ready for Christmas? DIYs or not so much just yet. Leave a heart in the comments down below if you're still here. And if you are not following me on Instagram or Facebook, if you are not a part of my VIP, VIP group, let me know in the comments down below so I can get you guys joined up to all that fun stuff. And with all that being said, until next time, guys, I love each and every one of you with all my heart and soul, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.